Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. This is Conic section part 5. In this part, we are going to learn how to find the center of any given conic. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get started. Center of conic. First of all, in the second lecture, Related to this topic, conic section, we learned that center is any point from which all the chords get bisected, or center is any point which bisects every given chord for the conic section. This is what we have learned about the center. And for conic, we have learned that the general equation of conic is. Ax squared plus 2hxy plus by squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. If this is the conic section, then what would be the center of this conic? And this is what we are going to find out in this lecture. So, first of all, there is a brand new term which is coming up. And that is partial. differentiation now we know what is differentiation but what is partial differentiation we're gonna learn right now so first of all we're gonna write all the x term over here and all the y terms over here so what are the x terms the x terms are a x square plus 2 h x y plus 2gx and the y terms are by square plus 2hxy plus 2fy. Now we're gonna partial differentiate this equation. That is, the partial differentiation sign is represented by Dow. And we're going to differentiate partially the equation of conic with respect to x. And over here, this would be with respect to y. For partial differentiation with respect to x, what we do is we take only the x term and we treat every other term as constant. That is, if there is a variable over here, that is also treated as a constant. That means, if we partially differentiate s with respect to x, this would equal to, what is the differentiation of x squared? It is 2x. So, this would be equal to 2ax plus, differentiation of x is 1. And this term, y, h and 2 are treated as constant and for x over here it will be 1 hence 2g and if we differentiate these terms as well with respect to x this will always be equal to 0 since there is no x term in it so partial differentiation means we take the variable by which we are differentiating and rest other alphabets or constants or variables or coefficients as constant terms. So similarly, for dou s is equal to dou y, this would be equal to 2 b y plus 2 h x plus 2 f. And by partially differentiating s with respect to x and y respectively, what we do is to find the center, we equate these values to 0. And by equating this value to 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. So we are remained with ax plus hy plus g is equal to 0 by plus hx plus f is equal to 0 and we know how to solve 
linear equation in two variables. By solving linear equation in two variables, we get the value of x, comma y as which is equivalent to hf minus bg upon ab minus h square. This is the value of x we are getting by solving these two equations and the value of y is equal to gh minus af upon ab minus h square. So the value of x and y is respectively hf minus bg upon ab minus h square and gh minus af upon ab minus h square and finding x and y will give you the center of conic. Partial differentiation may be a little difficult. So what is the other step or how can we remember this by any other method? The other method is the other method is the discriminant method. We know that the discriminant of the conic is AHG HBF and GFC. So now what do we do is we're gonna take the first two rows and then the first column to the right side. That is A H G H B F and again the first column to the right side A and H and then we're gonna cross multiply the terms. This cross multiplication will always give you the denominator whereas this cross multiplication will give you the numerator for x and this cross multiplication will give you the numerator for y and dividing with the denominator you get the desired output. So center of the conic has the coordinates as x and y which is equivalent to hf minus bg upon ab minus h square comma gh minus af upon ab minus h square. ab minus h square is the term for which we have learned degenerate and not degenerate codec. So this you can remember, the denominator you can remember as it is. And to find the numerator, you can use the discriminant method. So this is how we find the center of any given codec. So guys, this is it from this video. I hope you learned how to find the center of any given conic by partial differentiation method as well as with the discriminant method. So this is it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Yuri Basin signing off. Meet you in the next video.